tiramisu is a really a very famous Italian dish. You can make it in really many different ways with baking, without baking, with eggs, without eggs. You can choose how to make it like you prefer. You can feel the enjoyment when you eat a dish like tiramisu because it gives a sense of happiness and pleasure when you eat it. Some people are wonder how tiramisu without eggs, without coffee, but it can really happen. Let's see how we can make this kind of tiramisu. We are going to need to lady fingers or sponge fingers, whipping cream, milk, mascarpone cheese, sugar, chocolate cream, and cocoa. We start to add the mascarpone. The mascarpone is a kind of a cheese without salt. I'm going to whisk it with an electric whisk for two or three minutes so I get smooth mixture. And when I'm finished, I'm going to add the whipping cream and it should be so cold until I get a really very soft cream. I add the sugar and I whisk until the whole ingredients are very mixed together. And after that, I'm going to whisk again with the electric whisk for some minutes again until you see the cream like this you don't have to whisk for a long time and it's not so good to whisk for a long time because the water and the cream will separate from the butter that it's inside the cream After that, I'm going to put the sponge fingers or the lady fingers in the milk from both sides for only two seconds. You shouldn't wait for a long time when you put the sponge fingers in the milk because in this way it's going to take so much liquid and that's what we don't want it. And when I'm finished, the first layer from the biscuit, I'm going to put the first layer from the cream. I divided the mixture of cream for two parts to make four layers, two layers from cream and two layers from biscuit. After that, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put the sponge fingers on the cream like this. Of course, I add it in the milk. I put it in the milk for one or two seconds, like I did before. And when I'm finished, I'm going to put another layer from the cream and I'm going to make the surface flat like this I want to have a soft surface to put some cocoa powder on it and now I'm almost finished I'm going to put some cocoa powder on the surface like this. I'll be sure that it's 
covered from the whole sides and I'm going to use the chocolate cream to put some on the surface too because it will give a really nice taste and it's going to be so delicious like this you can choose the kind of chocolate that you prefer and you can choose the quantity too you can add as you want you should put it in the refrigerator for at least six hours and after that it's going to be amazing I'm going to cut a piece to test it and I'm going to tell you how it was and if you put it in the refrigerator for one night it's going to be perfect and now it's a time for a bite look at it it's so soft it's really delicious and so fluffy I hope that you try it and tell me the result I hope that you enjoyed the video today and I hope that you enjoyed the recipe and if you like the video today I hope that you hit the like button and subscribe and if you have any question you can leave it in the comments and I'm going to put the whole ingredients in the description box under the video until you get the ingredients easily see you in a new video and in a new recipe bye bye